is a wolf pack. Now, remember last year when that woman got snapped for like everybody in the in her police precinct? Yeah, she's back. <laughs> she got caught for literally having a train run on her with everybody in her prison, bruh. I don't know what's going on, but let's check it out. So last year a story came out and absolutely broke the internet where this police officer named Megan Hall was fired from her position after it came out that she was smashing multiple guys on the police squad. There were many <laughs> stories and videos that went viral online. Of course the memes were in the thousands and posts making jokes about her, her husband, and their life went viral on it. Oh I didn't even know she was married. Not that's foul. Not that's foul. At least one homegirl said nah. One is too small. I need five of these homeboys from all races. <laughs> Any social media you can imagine. In general, she got absolutely cooked by the internet for months. And in the last update we had in this situation, she went on a news segment to announce that she would be filing a federal lawsuit against the city of Laverne. What happened to me during my employment at Laverne's Police Department, it should never happen to anyone. They isolated me, they shunned me, they accused me, and they blamed me for becoming a victim. Now, I you say what? <laughs> a victim? They, of course, they showed you, homegirl. You, 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 you slept with five men. You were walking with. Did you not read the laws? Did you not? You want to sue the state? Didn't you read the laws? <laughs> Last time, this was the initial reaction to this information going viral. Doing something while you're at work. I mean, for everybody else who goes to work, you know, we're held to that same standard. Jerry Howell says he was in disbelief when first reading the report. I mean, yeah, they're on company time. They're using that taxpayer money and they weren't patrolling the streets. They were patrolling some pussy. It's just bad. It's like a stain, I guess. It'd be a wake up call for Laverne, but also a wake up call for our police department to uh, take care of themselves. And you guys will see here pretty soon that the entire department in Laverne seems to be completely corrupt. Of course, like I said, she did the interview where she announced her lawsuit. And finally, this would be the outcome where she's now getting this $500,000 settlement. Bro, you people in the US need to, you people need to lock in. I realize that everything is wrong. If, nah, look, 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 you get, apply, you apply for a job, you get the job. They give you a set of rules. One of the rules is so most times they say, hey, yo, you know what? Just as friendly advice, do not date your coworkers. So while dating them, do not sleep with your coworkers. You get married, you get married. They say do not cheat on your partner. She broke both them rules simultaneously. She sued and they gave her the money. She broke the rules, bro. I don't even know get how her marriage is. Professional email from GoDaddy. Say you receive two emails, one from a legit. Okay. Five officers and then the police chief all fired. The city then found itself facing a lawsuit filed by a former female officer. Well, tonight word comes the city has settled the case Bruh. with a hefty payment. Now, the good thing is, guys, what? when it comes to this payment, the taxpayers will not be footing the bill. And this apparently is going to be coming out of some insurance policy the police department has. After that scandal, former police officer Megan Hall sued the city. Then tonight, over a year later, the city of Laverne held a special meeting in which they decided they would pay out Megan Hall $500,000, officially ending that lawsuit. I'm telling y'all, I think she could have got a lot more money. It took less than five minutes. No, Alderman Haas. Aye. Alderman Haas. Aye. Vice Mayor Dunn. Aye. Motion passes. For the Laverne City leaders to say yes, they'll pay former police officer Megan Hall half a million dollars. I'm sorry, but can you guys even see that picture and just not laugh a little bit? Like this shit went so viral. What wow. message? She got, she got some Robbie teeth. <laughs> Is that saying to uh, all the other employees? That you can sleep with the whole squad and bro, also- it wasn't even five, bro. It wasn't even six, it was seven dudes. How did she get paid $500, bro? How did she get paid $500? I, 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 oh my God, bro, what the hell was going? You work for a person, the person says, do not sleep with your coworkers. I mean, isn't that common sense? That if you, if you, if you get caught sleeping with seven people in the same department, the, 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 the employer is going to be like, hey, yo, you are a flight risk. 
I'm going to fire you. How is that a crime that needs to be settled with five hundred thousand dollars? Oh my God, this guy's this just stressing me. Nah, it's stressing me. I'm stressed. Be half a million dollars richer. I'm Alderman stressed. Dennis Waldron was the only dissenting vote. He's sending the message out to uh, to everybody in the world. Said, "Come to Laverne, S sue Laverne because." They're gonna settle. So this man right here seems to be the only one that actually stood on business. Basically saying we're not gonna bow down to the feet of the my local guy. hoe. Reports my, my details between officers on duty and on city property, intimate photos and videos shared among officers, and silence from the police chief. And it's very likely that she was not the only female officer within this department engaging in these type of activities. Very I'm likely. thinking that this problem was actually a lot more widespread, mm. and so they probably just wanted the investigation to end before more and more shit was uncovered. While I was aspiring to protect my community, the Laverne Police Department was not protecting me. I mean, let's not act like you were some- I'm sorry, I'm inspiring to protect my community while getting seven different- Oh, oh my God. How are you protecting the community when you're getting piped? Ah, yay, yay, yay. Saint. You guys will see pretty soon here that she was quite complicit in all of this different Actual activity. I mean, the fact that her husband actually stayed with her after this whole scandal went public. He a bop. He's a bop. Definition of a bop. Pop. It's just absolutely insane to me. Now, in her lawsuit, I found some very interesting information in regards to how all of this came about. And after reading the filing, I'm actually surprised that she didn't get more money because of the power levels involved, as well as the digital footprint of evidence the chief of the station left behind. In this situation, you really have four main players. Of course, you have Megan Hall, Sergeant Lewis Powell, Sergeant Henry McGowan, and most importantly, Chief Burrell Davis. And she wants to go pipe in the chief, bro. <laughs> While these might be the four main people, keep in mind that she also had relations with him, him, and even him. Now let me take you guys back to day one, where Megan Hall shows up excited to start her career as a 24-year-old married woman. She claims that from the very start, the chief in charge told her to lie about past mental health issues. When they conducted a psychological evaluation on her during the interview process, she of course gets the job, and a bunch of other officers apparently start flirting with her right off the bat. The aforementioned Sergeant Lewis Powell was one of her supervisors, and this is apparently the first man that she would have a sexual relationship with. Apparently, Apparently one morning he told her to go to the extra training office for some jujitsu lessons and they ended up part <laughs> he jujitsu that pussy <laughs> taking in a whole nother workout. This relationship would continue for months, and out of all the guys that she would eventually be with, she definitely seemed to get the closest to him, and it sounds like he would even get possessive over her. Now word would obviously mm. spread around the department that she was giving it up, and eventually she would go to a memorial. Memorial Day weekend party, where she would apparently be the only woman invited. Well, by the end of the night, she hooks up with this guy, Officer Maglico, literally minutes after they put his wife to sleep while the party raged on. After having sex, they eventually get back into the hot tub with several other officers, and everyone watches them while he does wild things to her using his fingers. This news oh, spreads no. all over the department. There were also explicit videos and pictures of her being passed around. And Sergeant Powell was apparently pissed. Hall claims this is when he really started to demand that she continue to be with him. At this time, Sergeant Henry McOwen would then allegedly offer her payment to create an OF page, as well as Feet Finder, where Hall says he wanted to watch her with other men. She also claims that Sergeant McOwen offered her a promotion to sleep with him, which she apparently did. So at this point, she's been with all- Oh uh, yeah, she deserves 500. You people are crazy. What the hell? And they are all black too. Oh my god. Revoke their black card. Revoke their black card. You can't be doing this and you still have- Bruh, why does- why does- last guy look like he won't beat me bro you were the one that was you were piping her what's the hell i didn't do nothing all kinds of guys and everyone around the office knows it they've even seen pictures and videos and whatnot to back it up 
And this is where the chief comes in, pretty much the head honcho here, and things get crazy. Understand the chief had a burner phone that he called Old Boy, where he would text Sergeant McOwen frequently. Chief Davis apparently got a picture of Hall sent to his burner phone, where she had Sergeant Lewis's foot in her mouth, to which he said, who dat? Hall. Lewis. He on it again. He swears he ain't. She nor her husband took that picture. She has a tight little though. Yup. The chief would then go on to say, the fuck Lewis saying to these hoes cause normal pimp shit ain't working. No fucking clue. He killing it. Maybe goody shit. Gotta be. I can't do it. Gorilla pimp. Only way I know. Does she talk to you? No. She's already getting too much attention. Oh, I see. It's all good. I saved her for the last time. I wish- Yeah, give her her $500,000, bro. Give her her 500 I, I'm a, I apologize, bro. I take everything I said back. Give, give her her $500,000. These people need to be put in jail. What kind of a conversation is this? I wish I could tell her who she's fucking can't do shit for her. I wish I could too. Then we could both play. So it sounds like both of these men wanted her attention badly and felt they had more power than Sergeant Powell within the department. Obviously, these text messages are evidence that he knew she was involved in a sexual relationship with one of her supervisors and chose to not do anything about it, which is a bad look when you're the one in charge. Over time, Chief Davis continues to receive explicit photos and videos of Megan Hall to this burner phone. Megan even goes as far as to tell Chief Davis directly that she is scared of Sergeant Powell and his possessiveness over her. Still, the chief does nothing but begin to speculate on how to save his own ass. And then she still goes to a hot tub party with three male officers and dances around topless while they pour shots into her mouth. So you know, you know, now I'm, I'm stuck in, between a rock and a hard place because look, at the end of the day, she did all that, bro. She did all that. I don't think there was any, um, apart from the fact that her job might have been on the line, you know, and which is a valid reason to like do all that. But like, aside that little mm. fact, that little situation, I won't, like, she did all this. She was conscious. She was she was conscious of her actions. She wasn't put to, to gunpoint. So like, at the end of the day, the guys shouldn't have put her in that situation. Obviously, they are terrible people. Get them in, under the jail, you know? Like, they, they were passing her around, bro. But she's not a victim. She was aware. She was still fully cognitive of what was going down. She works in a police station, bro. Come on. If you can't do anything about it, what do you think every about? Come on, man. Despite her now formally complaining about these issues, she continued to put herself in these types of situations. That's what I'm saying. You was fully conscious. You was fully conscious. You did not like it. You went to the hot tub party. You did not like it. You was dancing shirtless. Come on, bro. Like you were fully conscious of all this. So five hundred thousand is a stretch, bro. Keep in mind doing all of this while married. She was oh, basically married. letting these men do whatever they wanted to her both She didn't even tell her hussy. She didn't even tell her. Let's say you are scared of losing your job. You were scared of this and that. Like you were married, my girl. You was married, bro. What is you doing letting homeboys run a train on you, bro? Come on, man. Both on and off the clock. Around the department, they knew an investigation was going to begin, and they seemingly wanted her gone. So Chief Davis terminated her after the behavior in the hot tub, with this story that obviously went super viral. So she then sues the city, the walls start coming down, and everyone starts getting investigated, and eventually Chief Davis and Sergeant McOwen are both terminated as well, I with the burner she, phone text messages them in the end after the no no look 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 i'm not on anyone's side but i see why she sued bro wow hell am i sweating i see why she sued like she didn't sue big like and i see why she won the suit too i see why she won the, i see why she sued and i see why she won the lawsuit bro she sued because they 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 fired her they didn't fire her for what she did nah they fired her to save their own asses you feel me they fired her to save their own asses. Now she was fully cognitive that she wasn't the she she but the, like 
she wasn't the only person involved in this entire thing. Like, yeah, she did some dumb shit. Yeah, she did. She acted inappropriately. Yes, facts on that. But the guys also acted inappropriately too. So why is she the only one getting heat? Why is she the only one getting fired? So that makes sense to Sue. And it also makes sense to grab, like, for her to win the suit because why the hell are they firing her for doing what they all agreed to do? They were all fully cognitive and they were all fully conscious. She didn't just start sleeping. She didn't just start dancing in a hot tub and doing all that. Like, everyone was running a train on her. So why is she the person getting heat? when everyone's trying to save their asses so yeah i feel you my girl go get your money man them, them niggas them niggas are shady as hell investigation that got him fired they would conclude chief davis was aware of inappropriate sexual activity between officers including superior officers and subordinates as well as the shockingly widespread sharing within his department of nude photos and videos of female officers Chief Davis admittedly received Officers. some of these inappropriate photographs and videos. He never voluntarily disclosed doing so. Chief Davis never reported this activity to the city's human resources department, nor did he discipline any of the officers involved. When Officer Hall was hospitalized on December 8th of 2022, after a self-deletion attempt by the way, Chief Davis did not report his prior knowledge of her sexual activity with Sergeant Lewis Powell. When Hall and Powell denied inappropriate activity during the initial investigation, Chief Davis did not disclose to Director Patton or others that he knew or even believed them to be lying. Finally, mm. the documentary evidence available to us compels the conclusion that Chief Davis misled Director Patton in his January 6th interview and that he misled this investigation in his January 23rd interview. We mm. find, therefore, that by failing to report or discipline officers engaged in inappropriate sexual activity, withholding information from city officials conducting the initial investigation, and facilitating a hostile work environment in the sharing of nude images of subordinate employees, Chief Davis impeded the initial investigation contrary to city policy and permitted, if not encouraged, conduct potentially contrary to state and federal law. We mm. further find on the basis of the documentary evidence available to us that he impeded the city's January 6th investigation of his prior knowledge and this investigation by untruthful responses regarding his text message correspondence with Sergeant McOwen. Now let's be clear here, to me this woman is far from a victim. At the end of the day- What, what, what have I been saying? She's not a victim, but look, they shouldn't have fired her for that. They shouldn't have fired her for that. She she wasn't the only person. Like if they were going to fire everybody, they should have fired all seven of them. But Chief Chiefy Chiefy got a little scared, and Chiefy wanted to save his ass, so he got rid of the central hub. So now anything that, bruh, I'm not even gonna get it, bruh. But hey, she was not. She was married while happy to be the community bus, if you will. You know, everyone got their ride. Now, with mm -hmm. that being said, everyone in this situation seems to be a complete sack of shit as well. A lot Facts. of these people were married, some of them had children, Facts. like all the way from the top to the bottom, it looks really bad. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm surprised that she didn't get more money. Was she for the streets? Absolutely. But was there also a lot of evidence against people more powerful than her? Yes, there was, and in these yes, type of situations, sir. especially where the city is getting sued, a lot of times these payments are absolutely massive. Either way, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. Y'all let me down below what you guys think about this. Yeah, go subscribe to Jamari, bro. Go subscribe to Jamari. But look, he said it all, and I said what I had to say. And I, I'm not taking no, none of it back, you feel me? She was not a victim. She's definitely, definitely not a victim. She was fully, fully aware of everything that was going down. You feel me? She's not a victim. She's not a victim, bro. Like, I agree with her suing the state. I agree with her getting her settlement. Even if it sounds like, it sounds weird, but like, I agree with her getting her settlement. I agree with her suing. But like, she's not a victim, bro. She's not a victim, bro. She she knew what she was doing. She knew what was going down. She knew what she was doing. That was crazy, man. But look, I'm a, I'm a good I'm a good buy. God, subscribe, my boy. Subscribe.